everyone. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, you make lemon ice cream. Let's begin. Let's go ahead and begin making our lemon ice cream. To do this, we are going to be making a lemon mixture that will consist of four ounces of lemon juice, two tablespoons of lemon zest, and one tablespoon of limoncello. We will then be making the cream base that will consist of one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar, one cup of whole milk, two cups of heavy cream, and a large pinch of salt. In this recipe, we will be using some special equipment. We will be using a microplane to assist us in zesting our lemons. We will be using a lemon squeezer. And we will also be using a KitchenAid stand mixer with the ice cream bowl attachment. The ice cream bowl should be in the freezer for about 15 hours in order to make sure it's properly frozen and it helps that the freezer is at the lowest possible temperature. Let's go ahead and start making our lemon mixture and let's get this recipe moving. Zesting a lemon might sound fancy, but it's rather easy. Go ahead and grab a lemon along with your microplane and you will just move the lemon up and down along the blade and you will carefully turn the lemon as you do it. You want to make sure you, that you get all the yellow parts of the lemon and you want to try to avoid the white pith underneath. Let's go ahead and try that. This is what the lemon zest starts to look like as used along the microplane. We are going to require about two tablespoons of lemon zest. If you do not have a microplane, you can also use the fine side of a box grater. The process is exactly the same and it's a good replacement for the microplane if you don't have one. Now that we have zested our lemons, let's go ahead and juice them. An easy way to do this is to take a lemon and to roll it on the table applying a firm pressure and that will help break up some of the cells that contain the juice. Next, we will go ahead and we will cut the lemon in half. And using our, using our lemon squeezer, we will place, take the lemon and place it cut side down. We will then juice it into a little bowl that has a strainer, and the strainer will help catch any seeds or anything that may fall into the juice. We will go ahead and we will now do this until we have four ounces of lemon juice total. We now have our four ounces of lemon juice. Let's go ahead and combine the zest, the lemon juice, and the lemon cello together to make our lemon mixture. We will make sure to not combine the lemon juice with the milk until we're absolutely ready to do so at the very end, right when we have the machine out and everything. Now that our lemon mixture is complete, Let's go ahead and start making the ice cream base. We will begin with taking the one and a quarter cups of sugar and adding the one cup of whole milk to it. We will then give it a quick whisk to dissolve any of those sugars. Next we will go ahead and we will add in our two cups of heavy cream. followed by our large pinch of salt. We will whisk this together one more time just to combine everything. Before we add the lemon mixture to the cream, we need to get the machine completely set up and running, and then we will go ahead and we will combine the two together because we do not want the acid in the lemon juice to curdle any of the milk, or as little as possible. I just took my ice cream bowl out of the freezer and my freezer was set to negative four degrees. For the KitchenAid, you will need to use a spring attachment. We will be using the small side and we will put it on the machine until it feels snug. Next, we will go ahead and put the bowl on and then we'll put the pail on. I like to test run the machine just to make sure everything is properly attached. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and 
this is the moment where we want to combine our lemon juice and our cream base together. I will start stirring slowly and I will gradually pour in the mixture. We will then turn on the machine immediately and put the mixture inside the machine. We are going to churn anywhere from 25 to 28 minutes. Let's get churning. All right, so it's been about 28 minutes, so let's go ahead and check our lemon ice cream. So let's take a look at the ice cream. It looks very soft and smooth and creamy and it's got a nice little yellow tint to it. Let's go ahead now and get this in a freezer proof container. We will then check back on it in about four hours to check the texture of it and see how we're doing. All right, let's go ahead and check the texture of our ice cream. Wow, this ice cream is right out of the freezer. It's got a gray color to it. It looks really good. It's soft and creamy. Let's go ahead now and try it out. So to prepare for this lemon ice cream recipe, I went ahead and I made candied citrus peels. These are absolutely delicious and we're gonna post a video on how you can make them next week. Let's go ahead and get our lemon ice cream sundae put together. To start, I'll grab a big scoop of lemon ice cream. I'll go ahead and put some whipped cream on top, and then I'll go ahead and I'll garnish with the candy lemon peels. Wow, now doesn't that look delightful? Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Wow, this lemon ice cream is so good. It literally tastes like sunshine and it reminds you of summer with that perfect lemon flavor. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button. Then be sure to subscribe for any future content like the candy lemon citrus peel recipe. See you next time. Hey everyone, you know- <laughs> Leave it, leave it, leave it. Hey everyone, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons, You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, you make lemon ice cream. <laughs>